God is an artist and he loves to see others who are gifted in that way to blossom and to, to serve him in that way. And my heart's desire was to be an artist. God gifted me with creative gifts. But I was a mother and I was a secretary in the ministry in Kenya. I hadn't really touched my paintbrush for 20 years, so I had a desire to serve, but I didn't know how or where. But I felt truly in my heart that I really would like to be an artist. So one day I began painting still lifes of all the beautiful things I loved about Kenya. The kangas and kikois, which are these beautiful fabrics that are just full of color and designs, the fresh fruits and vegetables. And I was, I was doing this, um, Carl mentioned one time, he said, you should do a calendar. And I thought, oh, that would be 12 paintings. How could I do 12 paintings? But I pursued it and I, and I was able to actually self-produce four or five calendars that went all over the world. And the incredible thing about this process was, again, something totally, I would have never sat down and written down on a piece of paper as a plan or a goal because I hadn't thought about it. Um, but that's not a gift that everyone receives. So I really felt a responsibility. So I began to understand this really is a calling. And um, it is an anointing just like Bezalel in Exodus 35. He was anointed by God to make all the beautiful crafts and all of the work in the tabernacle. And what was it for? To worship God. So it was, um, again, this enlightened um, sense that this is something God, God could do. So I would read a scripture and God would give me this image. I thought, wow, this is something very different. It was no longer just setting up a still life and painting uh, flowers and pots and fabric, but they were expressions of um, the, the scripture into a visual language and visual format. So I started doing that and um, our church that we were attending, the pastor and the people that were so supporting on uh, creativity and on how to minister with your art. So I just started painting these paintings. And that was where God really began to show me that my gifting was not mine. It was for others. Each time I exhibit, I have opportunity to talk about why I painted it, what it means to me. Every one of those pieces, even though it's not a picture of Jesus or it's not a picture of a cross, it's still meaningful to them, whether any of them brings anything spiritual to their mind, is there anything that they want to talk more about. And so it's this visual way of, of sharing your faith. And so it's my very non-threatening way to talk about Christ who lives in me and the scripture and how valuable the scripture is and how true the scripture is and how it's been true to me. If God had not pursued us and helped us on this path, we would have never had this opportunity. And I could have been this little naive girl back in Indiana on the farm and in my own little community. But God has a way of helping you to walk by faith and take a risk and faith builds and the next time you step out it's a little bit easier and then the next time you step out it's a little bit easier just because you know he's been faithful in every part of the journey and it's a journey that I could not have sat down and written out myself. <laughs>